from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome to The Horse's Mouth here at Tommy Max, of course, at my bar where you sit down, have a drink, and tell the world what you're doing here in this great city of Jacksonville, brought to our good friends at Dasher and the law offices of Terrell Hogan. Great to have them on board. Major Harding is back. Coach Campbell is back. And my good friend, oh, man, I can't believe he's here, but he is here. My old boss is back. Let's get into it right here on the horse's mouth. Major Harding, how are you, my friend? Hey, Tom. Good to see you. Good to be seen. You brought a mutual friend, okay. J.A., hey, John Tommy. Richardson. How are you? I'm great, Tom. New Mark Phoenix Realty Group, my old yes, place of uh, occupy your business. How are you, my friend? Good to see you, Coach. Good. Welcome back. Thank Did you know I was industrial real estate broker one time? Listen. Or salesperson? Listen, you are a man of many talents. It's it does walk. not surprise. <laughs> <laughs> me that it's you would be involved, like, you know, with yeah. your ability to talk to people and do all those kind of things. There's no question, right? Yeah. We loved having him, and the clients loved Tom. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. It yeah. was fun. Was you, a lot great fun. to have you on the show. Well, JR and I are really good friends. We've been friends for a very long time, ever since yeah. I joined Phoenix Realty Group. We used to have those basketball games on top of the Riverside Club with no yeah. rules, right? What did the Riverside Club or something? Yeah, like? uh, yeah, the River Club. The River Club, yeah. yeah. And then we play hoop, me, you, yeah. and Lance. The University Club. The University Club. Yeah. And bang into each other. Yeah, no <laughs> rules basketball. That's no kind of how we initiated all of our new brokers. They had to come up and play basketball with myself and my business partners, Ladson and Jim. And yep. there were no rules. And uh, Tommy, Tommy came elbows. up there and we started making rules because <laughs> we could not have contact became dangerous. At that it point. was very, it was very a lot dangerous. of fun. Yeah. No yeah. doubt. You guys together at Phoenix have been together a long time. How do you make it all work? Well, I tell you, we've been, first of all, God blessed us all, and he blessed me and surrounded me with a bunch of great business partners yep. in Ladson Montgomery and Jim Sebesta, Forrest Gibson, Brian Bartlett. Uh, we've been business partners now since 1993, yep. which is a very yeah. unique situation in, in the world of commercial real estate brokerage and services. Yep. You're constantly changing. Uh, people switch firms. Uh, we've just had such a great time, you yeah. know, working with each other, watching our families grow together. Little yep. kids or grown adults and have their own kids now. So it's really been, truly really yep. been a, a, a great, uh, a great partnership for yep. for all of us. And and we'll stay that way until we're all ready to do something else. I'm That's sure. right. Yeah. And you guys got a lot. I mean, you guys do office, you do retail, you do pretty much everything, but you're involved in the industrial side and always have been. What draws you to industrial real um, estate? I guess prior to my commercial real estate career, Tom, I, I worked for my stepfather, Jim Barker, with the James M. Barker Company. Okay. And Jim built office buildings and warehouses and apartment complexes and schools and such. and. I just got into that uh, side of the construction, and then when I figured out construction was weaning some, and yep. and in real estate gave me an opportunity to make more money. Um, not certainly at the beginning, because you make nothing. Yep. But uh, but it was just something that really intrigued me on the industrial side of things. I love warehousing. I love the industrial tenants I work with, the building owners I deal with, uh, and it's just it's it's how America moves. It's yep. uh, logistics and freight and. Uh, it's what we see in the grocery stores or at the department store or yeah. academy sports or anywhere else. And it's, yep. uh, it's a very interesting business. We get to see a lot of different ways that people uh, make a living, and it's very interesting. Yeah. You had a defensive end here, Coach. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah, yeah. Georgia Southern. <laughs> Played yeah. for Herb yeah. Russell. Remember oh, Coach Herb uh, Russell? I absolutely. Legend. You do. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, Clay Helton, yeah. who's a head coach there, I worked with at USC. Okay, and, uh, cool. I really like him. I think he's a number one. He's a fo good football coach, but number yeah. two, he's a good man. You coach so everybody. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is a good much. man, and we're lucky to have Coach Helton there now. Uh, we have a great group up there. We have a wonderful alumni, uh, Eagle Football Alumni Association, yep. and we raise a lot of money for the school as well as for players that may be down on their luck or have an illness or yeah. injuries oh, and, and we raise money to help help in those regards and just want to see the school continue to do well and yeah. the program continue to Major, how do you guys know each other, you and JR? Well, his father-in-law, Jim Barker, has been in my Rotary Club since I joined okay. 30 years ago okay. and he hunts with me in South Carolina. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, and Industrial maybe, and hunting kind of go together. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, it's all about, you know, eating what you kill. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, Same in real estate and yeah, hunting. But, you're right. You're but right Major Son Kyle came to work with us for a while as well. Okay. We loved having Kyle, and Kyle had some opportunities to go do bigger, better things. And, and I'm glad he's yeah. uh, glad he's doing that now. What would you say to uh, you know someone thinking about getting into commercial real estate? I know the residential side; everyone's been jumping in on that. But when you look at commercial, and even more specifically with industrial, what would you say? I would say uh, be patient. Um, get with a group where you have good mentors. Uh, mm -hmm. You you it's it's good if you can be a part of the team early on in your career where you have somebody taking you in, showing you the ropes, yep. helping you with your sales pitch, how to actually finalize a transaction and take it through the process. Yep. And, and it's, it's patience and it's being able to sustain for a little while before you can really make money. Nobody really jumps in it and starts right. knocking it out of the park. Uh, it usually takes a few years. And, yep. and years ago, we used to tell a young broker, you got to be able to survive for a year and a half to three years, yeah. depending on how it's set up. In today's world with technology the way it is, that's probably cut down to about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. and, and after about a year and a half, those younger brokers or somebody new to the industry will have a real good indication as to yeah. whether this is something for them or not. Well, I, I know just from working with you, 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 you got to know the market. You yes. guys know the market. I remember our drive arounds. Do you yeah. remember those? Oh, yeah. You all get in the truck. And, and we, we take notes where we're going, and you point out this, you and Lash will point out this area, that area, and we, that's serving your people. That's well, it, sure. re it really helps. They, yep. they got to get a lay of the land. I, I try to tell the young guys from an industrial standpoint, get out of the office. You know, yeah. you need to be driving the market. You need to see who's <laughs> busting at the seams at a warehouse. If yep. they have no parking left, yep. chances are they need more space. So yeah. those are your targets, and, and really get to know the market where somebody says, you know, that's the uh, school book depository building. I want yeah. them to know exactly where that building is, exactly mm -hmm. how big it is, yeah. who owns it, what that's they do. Right. So how many docks? Yeah, how many docks? Building. What's your clear height? Yeah, what kind right. of sprinkler system do you have? But all, all the basics of that's that, great. and uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, what do you do for fun, JR, as we wrap up other than hunt? Uh, hunt, fish, uh, members of the Florida Tackle and Gun Club, Okay. Wonderful people there. It's been yeah. a it's been a great a great thing. We raise a lot of money for different charities. We had cool. an oyster roast there this weekend. Went through thirty bushels of oysters. Oh yeah, one hundred oh, and fifty people and and raised a, a lot of money for one of our members' charities, Dylan's Dream. So cool. it's all a lot of fun and enjoy yeah. joy traveling, going to Cocoa Beach with my fiance. And, good and having a good time. Great to have you on the show, Tom, my friend. Thank you very Always much. A pleasure. Always a pleasure to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Major my Coach. Thanks, Tom. You're the man. All right, make sure you check out JR's profile. You'll see Majors there and Coach Campos there as well. Just go to the DailyNewsNetwork.com website. You'll see this conversation and so many others learning about what people are doing in our great city of Jacksonville. So until next time, stay safe out there and be cool. And we'll see you right here on the Horse's Mouth. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information. Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.